I drive a Chevy EV Bolt and I saw a rumor that Tesla supercharging was open today. So I decided to go to a supercharger on the way to work to try it out. This is a little bit after sunrise, so it's still a bit dark here, but I went to a supercharger that is by Southlake Mall. Now for the observant among you, you might notice that I am double parking here. Yes, that is intentional because these cables are extremely short and if I don't double park, I won't be able to make the cable reach. Even on the Tesla website, they show you to go ahead and double park in order to make it reach. I see there's another uh, EUV bolt down there that is using the destination chargers. Um, I happen to have the Vortex uh, adapter here and you just flip down the little DC fast charging door and plug it in. I really should attach the Tesla supercharger cable first, but that's how it connects. Okay, so here we are with the cable connected. And of course, we first plug it in. It's not doing anything just yet. Um, so I go into the Tesla uh, application. I select my charger and I'm at charger 2A. Uh, so when I choose that one and hit start charging, that's all there is to it. Um, now I already have it connected, so it goes straight into initialization. Uh, but a few moments later, it starts charging. It did initialize for a while. And here I am charging at what starts off as 49 kilowatts. Yes, the Chevy EUV Bolt is one of the slowest amongst the uh, vehicles capable of supercharging or fast charging. And there you can see it dropped a bit. Um, and here we are, it's plugged in and all the other indicators show us charging. So I can see the green light in my dashboard. And if I open it up and look at my instrument readout, then we can see it shows, yes, it is fast charging. So this is available and uh, all you have to do is get your adapter now. Now Chevy does have them in back order. The one they have, it looks a lot like this one that I have right here. I think it's the same thing, uh, but I can't verify that. But there are two companies that have adapters available right now. The adapter I used in this video was the uh, Vortex. This is from Electron. Uh, so this looks very much like the one that uh, Chevy is offering on their website. Uh, I do have two adapters. The other one is the Typhoon from um, A to Z. Uh, I don't know what's up with them deciding to choose like storm related uh, words for their product names. But anyway, for this one, you can't get this specific one. They seem to have replaced it. Um, lots of people had complaints about the Typhoon. When you plugged in the Tesla adapter, you had to make sure that you move the switch to the right position for things to work. Uh, some people didn't like that. And so they have replaced it with the Typhoon Pro the Typhoon Pro looks a lot like this one. So they're the same style. Actually, I'll just show you what it looks like from the website. Uh, the Typhoon Pro is not out at the time that I'm making this video, but it looks like it's gonna be available within the next two weeks or so. In addition to these two, we also have the ones that are coming from the OEMs. The one, the one from Ford looks like it's actually made by Tesla. And like I said, I really think that Chevy one is another Electron Vortex, but can't know that for sure.